everything's going to be fine, darling. Madam, it's so wonderful to see you. Welcome home from the hospital. Jenny, this is Mrs. Cortez. Yes. Thank you. I'll show you to your room, madam. Everything is just as you like it. I don't believe it. Harold Wilson. The Harold Wilson. Very same. <laughs> Please tell me he took you somewhere scrumptious. Lock it. Oh. Party now has a chance of gaining a larger majority. Gentlemen, gentlemen, this is all very well and good, but what we really want to know is, what does the Prime Minister like for dessert? <laughs> <laughs> Darling, I think that's enough. Well, it's just my sense. Doctor's wants. Darling, don't forget we have breakfast in the morning. I have a journalist coming tomorrow, first thing. I'll change it to lunch then. Dinner, darling. We have dinner. Larry. Let's not fuss. Madame Sterling? Anthony O'Hare. Oh, yes. You're here to write marvelous things about my husband, I believe. Is that right? Mr. O'Hare. Mr. Sterling, please accept my apologies for my late running. Not a problem. Should we make a start? Uh, yeah, I'm ready whenever you are. Tell me, where have you been recently? Uh, Leopoldville, mainly. Brazzaville. God awful place, if you ask me. Well, I think that. Personally, I felt the Belgians themselves. Well, with respect, I was there too. So, you of all people should understand that mutiny and rebellion are an inferior and foolhardy to response. To centuries of oppression. I would suggest that taking back control politically, geographically, is an entirely appropriate response. You won't be correct then in assuming that you are a supporter of Mr. Mabuta. Larry, Mabuta's a dictator, I doubt very Starting much. Starting unaware. Thank you. Oh, enough, enough. <laughs> Larry. Mr. O'Hare, Mr. Sterling. How are you? Very well, thank you. Tell me, Mr. O'Hare, is there a Mrs. O'Hare? Yes, there was. Uh, Mrs. O'Hare and I divorced. Well, you, my condolences. It's a ghastly business. Monsieur Sterling, je suis désolé, mais mm. Excuse me. Oh, of course. What do you think? You see that over there? It's Corsica. You travel a lot. I don't, actually. Larry does all the traveling now. How did you two meet? <laughs> we were seated next to one another at a company dinner in New York. Our fathers used to work together. He asked me out and that was that. That simple. It was. Mrs. Sterling. This just came to you. Thank you. Again, we've missed you. I'm sorry. As per Mr. Sterling's request, it's been closed. Mrs. Cordoza, I need the keys to my husband's study. I'm afraid this is an instruction and not a request. Oops.
What are you doing with this? Larry, why have you been tampering with my mail? They, um, they found it on you. Day of the accident. I'm guessing you know who wrote it? Yes. Yes, his name is Anthony O'Hare. Was. Journalist. I introduced you. The two of you, it seems, were engaged in some kind of... Jenny was killed. Wait. I was beside you in the car. No. No. The man beside me in the car was named Philippe. The driver was Philippe, but the man in the passenger seat was a Mr. Anthony O'Hare. And when you woke from your accident, I made a decision. I was trying to protect you. From what? The truth. I didn't want you to have to bear the guilt. Where the trees are grown, Johnny boy, I'm all alone. My hand in. You lied to me. You told me he was dead. Why? For the sake of our marriage. By allowing me to believe that I'd killed him. I know that I betrayed you. The truth is, you and I were broken long before Anthony came into my life. Jennifer. Don't touch me. Jenny, listen. No, you listen to me now. The only reason I am still here is because of our daughter. From this day forward, I am your wife in name only. And if you so much as attempt to treat me otherwise, I will take our daughter and I will leave. Now, if you think the courts will side with an adulteress, then you're delusional. If you try to leave, if you try to take my child, I will destroy you. And you'll never see her again. Do you understand?